Hello there, welcome to Cakestone Pass and behind me is the climb up to Red Screes which is where myself and Cora plan on having a wild camp tonight uh, it's forecast to snow so hopefully we'll be seeing the first snows of uh, winter anyway I'm going to keep going and I'll see you in a bit Right, so we've just started walking up now and uh, I thought I'd turn my camera around and just show you where I've parked which is over there at the Kirkstone Inn there's a car park there with an honesty box which is fantastic because uh, I certainly struggle these days to find places to park when I'm wild camping could be a bit of uh, lack of knowledge though but I am finding it more and more difficult to park overnight um, what we're doing once again I'll spin it round as we're going to make our way up in between there uh, up to Red Screes where thankfully there's a good water supply because there's a tarn up there uh, spend the night hopefully the weather forecast that I looked at last night is accurate and we'll have a little bit of snow which you can't help but love, can you? It's the kid of me. But for now, we'll continue our way up this Walmart path and I'll speak to you very soon. We're just taking a little rest on our way up to uh, Red Screes and I thought I'd take this opportunity uh, to just have a little chat to you about something that I think is really important. There's a YouTuber called uh, One Girl and a Dog, a cat, and she has made a video about her visit to some Welsh bothies and something that happened during that was that she visited one bothy which actually had rat poison in it and her dog ate some of that rat poison and nearly died ended up going to the uh, the vet and thankfully getting treatment but she started a, a campaign really to look at keeping bothies clean and one of the problems that occurs is that people often leave food behind um, for some reason I don't know whether it's whether they think other people will eat their leftovers or whether they just can't be bothered carrying it out, I'm not sure. But what that does, that attracts rats into the bothies. Hence, somebody thought it would be a good idea to take rat poison. Now, on that occasion, it was a dog that got ill and nearly died, which would have been absolutely petrifying for me. Um, if anything happened like that to Cora, I would be devastated, I truly would. But something even more notable is that it could have actually been a child in that bothy that picked up the rat poison. So I'd like to get a message across to people who are using bothies. Please don't leave food behind and please do not leave rat poison. Try and leave bothies nice and clean and then everybody will be able to use them in perfect safety, including dogs. I'll leave a link to um, her video in my description so you can have a watch she's got a really good channel um i first become aware of it when i was watching her camping with uh, a guy who's got a scouse accent too um mcm outdoors and since watching that i subscribed to her channel and i found her videos to be brilliant but more than anything please be aware about taking food and particularly poisons into bothies you're going to end up with a, a, a dead dog that you know and devastates somebody and their family probably or worst case scenario a child anyway 
enough of that I'm going to carry on with my walk now and I'll see you really soon Well, I've never had that before. I've just had a paraglider come right over the top of me, probably about, I don't know, two, three foot above my head. Uh, gave me a bit of a jump and a bit of a, a duck, if I'm honest. But I'm really, really gutted because I missed it on my camera. By the time I got my camera, he'd gone down. Um, and I presume he's uh, paraglided down to the bottom uh, somewhere near the Kirkstone Inn. There's a absolutely amazing though the uh the bottle he must have to do that is just phenomenal uh sadly he must be the only guy doing it uh never mind certainly a face me up in the hills though At the top, and uh, as appears to be the norm these days, the, uh, the clouds right in and I'm in the clag. So I'll just turn this round for you. There's the, there's the tarn. And what we need to do now is find a place that we can put the tent up. Uh, hopefully it won't be too wet and it'll be reasonably flat. want to think about so this is always the uh, most important bit finding a good pitch seeing two places that are reasonable not too far from the uh, town so we've got water but I'm going to take a little walk around and see what's what Let's let you off your lead now, eh? The station's gone. Oh, there she goes, trying to get ticks. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. bit chilly up here now so Claude's recently had a bit of a haircut um, so it's coat time for this young lady I think there you are missus good girl just to take the chill off her so uh, this looks like a reasonably reasonably flat pitch but uh, I'm gonna leave my bag here and we're just gonna walk off that way just to see if there's a better place over there but we're right by the uh, right by the town so I've got a good water supply come on sweetheart come on so let's see what we can find it's a little bit difficult because it's so claggy but just uh, looking ahead here, there's a little sort of outcrop of stones, which would be lovely if there's some uh, 
flat space on it. It's right by the water. And uh, it's possibly a bit too too rocky, but let's have a look around because I'd really like this spot. Oh look at this. Look at this, perfect. Okay. We found our spot, haven't we? Do you wanna pop the camera down? Tent on your mat now, can't you, darling? And they keep you warm. Yeah. Come on. I'll look after uh, young Cora first and foremost. Come on, sit, wait, wait, come on. me uh, therm arrest x therm which is super warm with a really high uh, rating as if for about oh, must be coming up for about two years I think and uh, it's been great I just use the standard x therm inflator with it as well uh, certainly slower than many of the aftermarket ones though to be honest but really I mean I'm not in that much of a rush Right. 
tent's all pitched. Me and Cora are sitting inside now, having a little bit of a warm because it's absolutely freezing out there. It's a bit claggy as well. Um, we filtered the water. I've got the Thermarest trekking chair on my uh, mat so I can sit up in a little bit more comfy. It does make a difference actually when you're getting there. Uh, a little bit older like me, you, your back starts to ache a bit so it's great to be able to lean on something and kind of sit up but you don't have the extra weight of taking a big uh, trekking chair although I you know, realise they're getting lighter but uh, this is great sitting in the tent. Um, I'll show you what it's like outside, I can't see a great deal. Say hello Cora. No, she doesn't want to. There you go. You can see over there to the top. But it's really claggy. If, uh, if you can see the camera is kind of moving up and down, it's because this one is tapping me on the arm. Because I think I need to stop filming uh, and I think I need to give Cora some attention and give her a love because she's demanding it. And uh, if she demands it, you get it, don't you? So we'll see you soon. Bye. A snug as a bug in the sleeping bag Cora's got her jumper on and she's having a belly rub and nothing in the world is going to stress her out now because she is chilling aren't you? yeah this is a good kid come on girl come on it's really, really cold now. Come on, girl. Cora is about what? Four foot away from me, and I can barely see her because the uh, the clag's so thick. She's got a lovely little flashing light on, though. So we just thought we'd pop out and see what it was like. The floor is is actually starting to freeze. It's quite crispy. Uh, and we're going to get back in the tent where it's warm and make something sweet. So I'll see you soon. Well, the pasta meal's on soaking, so it's beer time! Hey, hey And it's another Aldi one. Um, this is called Six States. New England White IPA, and I've had one of these before, they're really nice. Um, so I'm going to sit here now, I'm going to drink this, Cora's going to look at me and keep staring over at the meal as it soaks, and then we'll see you in a bit. It's gone really chilly though. Bye. Okay, so it's ready. It's an uh, Adventure Foods uh, Pasta Bolognese. Now... What I've done is, I've seen uh, Bushman and Blue, I, you know, I've subscribed to their channel, which uh, I suspect most people who watch the outdoor um, YouTube do, because they're brilliant. Um, and I've seen him adding food into his dehydrated meals. And this is this is one of the, the smaller size ones, and I thought, oh my God, I'm going to be starving, but it's all I had to take with me. So I stopped off at the corner shop, and I bought a little packet of uh, pasta swirls that you can... Put in the microwave um and i added them to it mixed it up and then poured me hot water in and it's worked great and it's uh given me quite a nice uh, larger meal so thank you very much al so it's uh time for bed i think so i'll say good night and we'll see you in the morning unless something uh quite astonishing happens good night Morning. That was a rough night. Really windy and uh, absolutely chucked it down with rain. This morning it's uh, cleared lovely outside. I'll show you in a bit. Um, but it's really cold. So I've let Cora pop out for the call of nature. And she's back in the tent now taking it easy. And uh, I'm just making myself a brew. Don't know if you can see that. coming out of my breath but um can't wait to have this drink anyway really really thirsty
I've got my uh, MSR wind burner out today just because it's a little bit easier to use this uh, if you're actually inside of the tent. It's still got some ventilation but there's no flame as such. It just kind of heats the uh, metal mesh across the top. So. Well, apologies for the sound but it's really uh, blowy up here. But the clouds really lifted and uh, some nice views so I'm going to turn my camera around now and just do a little circle around for you. And there's the trick point. us all packed beautiful up here this morning um, very cold and windy though I'll uh, just show you where we were pitched it's there uh, my Cora and the bag in between leave no trace as always picked up any rubbish I've got any bits and bobs and we're heading off across that way down to Kirkstone Pass So, that's me and Cora done, we had a great night up there, absolutely chucked the town, there was about three foot of visibility, but it was lovely being all snug in the tent listening to the rain. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and click the like button, it really helps. Um, I'd like to end the video though by saying please, please remember, if you're using a bothy, don't leave food. Please do not leave poison and just keep them nice and clean and safe for other people. I'll see you soon anyway. Bye bye.